Do you have trouble with flies in your chicken coop? Well, don't worry. A lot of people do. Today, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those flies in your coop in a very natural way using essential oils and a few more things that you probably already have in the house. I'm Angela and this is Art of Creation Homestead. Welcome to our chicken coop. Say hi to the girls. Say hi to Tootie. Tootie always wants to be the center of attention. Say hi to Tootie. So, let me give you a little information first. Some of you may be thinking, oh, they're just flies. It's not going to hurt anything. No, you are completely wrong. Sorry to tell you, but you are completely wrong. Flies in your chicken coop are an extremely bad thing and can be very dangerous for your chickens. Let me tell you why. Flies in the coop can lead to a very dangerous situation, a very dangerous condition called fly strike. For those of you who don't know what fly strike is, this is about to get a little gross. It is where a fly lands on your chicken's vent. In case you don't know what a vent is, it's where they poop. And they lay their eggs on your chicken's vent. When they lay their eggs, their eggs eventually hatch. When they hatch on your chicken's vent, the larva will come out of those eggs and they will feed on your chicken's flesh thus setting up a horrible infection which everyone knows flies are completely nasty and no wonder it sets up infection and it can kill your chickens that's not something that any of us want for our chickens that's not a fate that any of us want for our chickens it's a very cruel death that can easily be prevented you want to be on camera sweetness you want to be on camera sweetness Oh, here comes Tootie, the little photo bomber. <laughs> you want to be in, in it, Maggie? Come inside with me, and I will show you how we make the spray. Okay, you're in the kitchen with me now, and I'm going to show you what we need to do here. So here we have one of the good heavy duty. I'll show you what the, what it looks like spray bottles, the professional spray bottles that you get at Tractor Supply. They cost a little more than the El Cheapos, but trust me, they last a lot longer. The sprayer lasts so much longer on it. And you're going to be using this every day, so you want it to be a, a spray bottle that's going to last. So the first thing we're going to use is we're going to use Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, the liquid version. Now, I really would not recommend you use Dawn dishwashing liquid or anything like that. We're going with something natural here. Something that will not put toxins into the coop. Because you got to remember the chickens peck the walls and they, they peck this and they peck that. You don't want them getting something that is toxic in their mouth. Something that could eventually kill them or even get into their eggs and possibly make you sick as well. So you want things as natural as possible, and Dr. Bronner's is the way to go. Now, if you get unscented, you will want to drop in some essential oils to replace this because Dr. Bronner's has beautiful essential oils in it already. So what I am using here is the lavender scent. That way I don't have to use lavender essential oils in here because it's already got the lavender essential oils in it. So... That's why I recommend the lavender. And also the lavender has a very calming effect on the chickens. They, they would love lavender scent. So we are going to pour in into our bottle. We are going to pour in about a fourth of a cup, which will be about, eh, about halfway up to the five line. And see, you can see that we're almost there. I just, Typically, I just eyeball it. It's no big deal if you get a little more in there. 
it's no big deal at all. Now, the next thing we are going to add is apple cider vinegar. It helps the whole thing like emulsify together. And also everyone knows flies hate the smell of vinegar. It chases them away easily. So it's gonna help with that as well. So we're gonna put in, I'm using Bragg's by the way. So I'm gonna put in about two tablespoons. Again, I'm just eyeballing. It's not gonna hurt anything if it's a little more. This is just coop spray. We're not baking a cake. This is just coop spray, I promise. It will be fine. Now the next thing, you can use any one of three different types of essential oils here in this combination. You can use rosemary essential oils. You can use eucalyptus essential oils, or you can use what I typically choose to use. Now I have used others. I have used eucalyptus and it works great. Uh, but what I typically choose to use is citronella. Um, if you have a brand that you like, um, just go ahead and buy that brand. As you can see, this is plant therapy. It's not real, it's not horribly expensive. Um, this is the big bottle, but you can buy smaller bottles, which are cheaper. Um, I generally buy this from Amazon and I will leave a link in the description below to this particular essential oil and to the eucalyptus and the rosemary in case you're looking for it. Now what we want to do, we want to drop in about eight drops of essential oils. And as you saw, an extra drop went in. So it ended up nine. But again, we're not making a cake here. We're making coop spray. So now you want to finish filling it up to the 25 ounce line with what generally tends to work best is warm water and because it helps it to emulsify quicker and better. You want to run it slow because as you can see, the bubbles have a tendency to come to the top. If the bubbles start to spill over on you, just stop it, let it rest, come back and finish filling it up to the 25 ounce line. Now we're gonna drop in our sprayer, our spray nozzle. And now every day, you wanna use this every morning. Typically we use it when we let the chickens out of the morning. And you will wanna give it a good shake. After you first make it, you wanna give it a good shake. And then you'll wanna give it a good shake every morning before you use it. Now I'll take you out to the coop and I'll show you how we use it. Okay, we're back in the coop. And now I'm gonna show you how we use it. First, like I said, you wanna give it a good shake before you use it. And your biggest, one of your biggest ways to do it, one of the most important is to do it in the entryway of your door. So typically, I spray the whole entryway of the door. And by the way, it smells really good. And I, I spray it along a lot of wood surfaces because flies love wood surfaces. Now, our, our nest boxes are wood, so I, I spray down the bar in front of the nest boxes. And this also works great for mites as well. It keeps mites away. So I spray inside the boxes with a few, just a few sprays inside every box to keep mites away because mites love to get inside the boxes. So I also, I spray down the corners because mites love to get in the corners. Flies love to lay their eggs in the corners. So I spray down the roost. I spray down the roost really good. And as you can see, if, if you see any flies in here, they are, they are running from it. Now I spray the outside entry of your coop. 
Now, as you can see in our run, we have this wood post in the middle to keep them out of the run. You want to spray down that post because it keeps it keeps the scent. The wood holds in the scent and the flies will not be attracted to it. I just spray a little in the air inside the coop and in the run and then you're done. It's that easy. You want to do that every day. Typically a bottle will last about three to four days depending on how much wood surface you have to spray down. We have, as you can see, we have a lot of wood surface to spray down, but if you have less wood surface or a smaller coop, then you, you'll only have to make it about once a week, once every two weeks. But I'll tell you something else we found out about this. Um, during gardening season and during mosquito season, Jason has discovered that if he sprays his legs and his arms down with this, that mosquitoes leave him alone. So Jason also use it, uses it as mosquito repellent as well on himself. And I use it on myself as well. And it also just freshens the air in your coop, makes everything smell better. And the chickens, honestly, the chickens love the scent. <laughs> uh, we have one particular girl, you saw Gracie before. Gracie loves good smells. So she tends to follow me around when I'm spraying this and sniff the air. So remember, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, please do. Because we've got so much awesome stuff coming your way. So many beautiful chickens. Hi, sweetness. Subscribe for sweetness. Subscribe to our channel for sweetness. Tell sweetness you love her. And of course, and of course, Tootie. <laughs> Say hi to Tootie. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching. God bless and have an amazing day.